semis. We got a rematch of, uh, I believe, a, what was a winner's quarters match. Uh, did we see two this one, one earlier? In, two one in Bruce's favor. All right. I was lucky all Lucas for those. And I bet that's what we're going to see again here. Um, I did see I did see Lucky get some nice, a couple spikes, correct? Yeah. In the winner set. Also, shout outs to the dog shirt. Mm -hmm. And so the thing that I'll be curious about here in in that in this uh, matchup, like one of the things that you should be looking for if you're going to pick Lucas up, particularly for me too, is you get access to these mind games to reflect and absorb. Sure. And so that is not really something that any of Lucky's other characters have ever had access to. So I'll be right. very curious to see if he's like kind of figuring out how to use those because the big deal with beating Mewtwo in particular, or Mewtwo and Burzus, his Mewtwo in particular, he plays a very stationary Shadow Ball charging Mewtwo. Yep. You have to be able to beat Shadow Ball. And if you're not going to be uh, willing to show that you're going to use those absorbs or reflect all the tools at your uh, disposal, Definitely. what's the point of playing Lucas? Definitely caught the DI in, though, with, uh, with the old up smash there. Okay. He's there into combos. SDI down, that will not hit you like that. Okay, jumping without a double jump there. Ooh. That SDI down might be harder for Mewtwo because it did look like he didn't get hit by all the hits. Sure. Mewtwo is so big. Yeah, he is large. Ooh, nice. okay, yep, really. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Shout out to short characters. Yep, Lucas is too small. Will, however, not be too small to get hit by that four there. Okay. Yep, and we're getting dangerously close to up to a couple percent here. Oh, and the last hit. Yep. Just, just the last Sniffing one. out that aggressive down air coming out from Lucky. Okay. Ooh, barely. No, and yeah, I was hoping for maybe an air dodge so he could uh, sneak in a little down air there, but it was not the case. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Put him, keep it on the offensive. With the right Thank drift, goodness for that tether recovery, it. though. Okay. Oh, yep. Kind of looks like pressing a button, maybe. Right. And that's what I mean by, like, having to have the mix-ups ready with the reflect and absorb. Right. If you can scare the Mewtwo, you won't have to worry about those. Yep. But right now, Burza seems perfectly happy to just play his game. Okay. And something that is interesting to note about Lucas's absorb, it does also have that hitbox at the uh, at the no. tip of it there, but that won't quite do it yet. But the next one probably will. Oh, that forward air definitely will. Yeah, yelled Ooh. in. The edge of the corner might have saved him. Yeah, I mean possibly, but that is a good move. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Urza is showing he has a pretty good command of this matchup right now. And Lucky is going to move off that Lucas. Let's go. Oh, um, interesting. Behold the power of the Manando, please. I imagine the range might be a problem for Mewtwo, but just the frame data for Shulk is so bad. It's so bad. I can't imagine this being a good matchup for Shulk. Three, two, oh, one, beautiful. Go! Immediate buster. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, back third at 18%. Boy, oh boy. Yep, man. Ooh, interesting. So, Nair beat, uh, beats at least a, a low charge Shadow Ball. Sure. Uh, how how far or how big the Shadow Ball gets before like, it stops beating it is pretty important. Lucky so far already thrown out a couple different down airs, which. I don't know. You really have to have a read to hit that move because both down air and up air, those hitboxes take so long to come on. And is that going to be a thing? That air slash? An interesting option. It looks fairly safe. Right. Okay. Speed. He keep moving super fast. And that super smooth pivot grab here. Yep. Smash. smash. So tilt or air slash will do down it. Down throw might actually kill here. Dang, it's right, definitely close. coming close. Yeah, and he wasn't actually on the ledge, or else it might have right. back and there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And Mewtwo okay. having a huge hurt box seems like it's a big problem in this matchup. Okay. I'm not oh, sure. Very okay. well played. Yeah. 
had him on a string there. Okay, so we're at Buster Mode already, so we're either gonna be taken or given lots of damage. It's really not that big of a difference on Shulk's end. Sure. Typically it ends up being like 2% over the course of a lot of strength. Right. But, he's got so many hits here, it is adding up. Yeah. And, yeah, one thing that Burzus is good at doing is then putting together long strings. Oh, all right. Landing there to a back air. If you have enough it. drift, though, yeah, to get away from that down air. Oh, yeah. oh! That trade. Where has this Shulk been all my life? Okay, and now Burzus, honestly, I was about to say, when he's in shoe mode, he just has to run away. Because what is he going to do? Okay, yep, that will absolutely do it. And back air uh, almost came back. out. Back air was coming out for Lucky there. And that has got to be a big reason why he's feeling so salty right there. Um, but not, I think... It's not the worst uh, idea I've ever seen, though. No. And I, and think, I think what we were seeing right there was uh, jump up air, or up throw up air jumping out of 50-50 for sure. So, okay, Bowser Jr. I actually think... I know that this was Lucky's preferred character in this matchup. Back when he regularly busted out his Bowser Jr. bracket, sure. But he has recently accepted that this character is not good. Yeah. Well, um, but he just apparently feels so shut down in this matchup that he's just trying anything. And I think he has won with this in the past. Gotcha. But yeah, definitely. But I haven't, I haven't seen him now. play this uh, this Iggy and Hop. Okay. And right now, just having a really hard trouble with the Shadow Ball camping. Not able to get the finishing hit on the rapid jabs here. Same. Landing nice. with that down air, though. Able to sneak in a follow up. Okay. Just jumps yeah. over Shadow Ball. Mewtwo will die at approximately 3% to the Rage Forwards. Wow. Heads up. Okay. No, not yet. That is a terrifying scream, too. Yeah. That was Iggy, man. Who that? Nope. Big boy. Hi, GG1. Ooh, that was nice. He used the Mecha Koopa to cancel out the Shadow Ball, but it's not going to matter. No. And this could be a swift 3-0 coming out from Bruce's here if uh, Lucky isn't able to pull together some sort of shenanigans. Got powering through that. Oh! Well, oh! Okay. Oh, he got he reflected the cart and it killed him. Okay. And that well, would not have killed him had no, he not it reflected absolutely it. Absolutely would not. I was kind of curious as to how he flew off so fast. Yeah. No, to self, do not reflect the cart. Right, he hit the cart back into the ground, then it blew up, and then it. Then yeah, so just like that, Lucky finds himself in a slight lead. And actually able to land a grab here. Just throws him off stage. Yep, the classic. Uh, a pretty safe attempt to add an edge guard there. Just flew him away from danger, but also did let Versus back on stage. Okay, nice shot space into the air. actually might have killed there. Ooh, oh, no. Air dodge no. too good. Yep. Getting a little, a little tense and a little hyperactive until oh. he gets up into a shadow ball. Yeah. All right, yep. that's a three-zero for Burzus. Really nice job there, and handling each and every one of those matchups with poise. Yeah, and man, I would have been a little shook after I killed myself by confusioning Bowser Jr.'s cart into the stage. Yep, dude, uh, he, fl so. he flew. <laughs> yeah, dude, he I was like, I was like, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't look right. But Burzus making.